And I'm so excited to be here today with not only one of the most kick-ass girl bosses I know, but she's also a good friend of mine, Ms. Lauren Dallas. How are you doing? <laughs> I am good. We are a community of aspiring and existing female entrepreneurs, and we exist to help women create more profitable, impactful, and sustainable businesses. I'm so excited because Lauren is going to share three tips that you can take action with today. Kennedy and I'm so excited to be here today with not only one of the most kick-ass girl bosses I know but she's also a good friend of mine Ms. Lauren Dallas how are you doing <laughs> I am good I was like what should I wear for today I think it's definitely time for some sequins it's a Monday evening it's time to bring the mood up and as always I'm very excited to be on and also to share tips but also a little sneak preview of what's coming up on Friday of this week. So thank you for having me. Absolutely a pleasure. I was noticing these lovely sequins um, that you've got going on there, Lauren. Um, you've been doing quite a few sequency numbers lately. Some, some sexy, sassy little numbers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going through a, a personal branding a re-strategy and my advisor was like, you need to pick a thing. And I was like, okay, cool. And I sent her a photo of me at Rough Tongue in Cape Town. Some of you probably know it on the weekend. Got leggings, jumpers, jumpsuit, all sequins. I was like, I think sequins are my thing. So <laughs> maybe well, I they'll think be sequins are amazing. So, and they suit you because they're all about like sparkle and fun and liveliness, you know? So I think that that's really, really cool. How often, just actually for everybody who's listening, um, Lauren Dallas is the CEO and co-founder of Future Females, which is, um, well, actually, Lauren, do you want to tell them a little bit about Future Females? And I know most people will know about it, but, you know, some people are new, so let them know. Yeah, of course. So Future Females is turning four tomorrow. Yeah. Um, we are, I know, it's insane. <laughs> this is the longest I've done anything, um, except for high school. So we're turning <laughs> four tomorrow and at our core we're a community. We are a community of aspiring and existing female entrepreneurs and we exist to help women create more profitable, impactful and sustainable businesses. And it's really a space for women who believe in collaborating over competing and who also just don't believe in waiting for anything to be handed to them or for falling back on excuses and rather taking action, creating this uprising, this positive forward momentum and breaking all of the odds and the barriers to create lives that they truly want to live. And that's what we're all about. And you do it so well. I mean, it's literally like I am part of a few things all over the world, but I've worked with coaches and speakers and teachers from all over the world. And it's actually true, Lauren, your community is the one I'm most involved in, not only because of the event that's coming up, but just generally, like I love, love, love the supportive aspect of it. If you're an entrepreneur, you guys know how lonely that can be because so often you're just on your own mission trying to make this hustle work, you know? And it's so great to have other women in the same position, having your back saying, yes, try this, or, you know, I did this, or I understand how crap that is. <laughs> so it really, really does help so much. Beatrice is saying, hello, lovely Beatrice. <laughs> She's so divine. And I also, I mean, I was speaking to Stephen about it today, um, about how men still, there's this payment gap, this inequality in payment in the world. But in South Africa, it's really big. It's like 30 to 40% difference that women get paid versus a man doing exactly the same job. And we were having this conversation and I jumped onto Instagram and your post was, <laughs> is of your amazing new clothing line that you guys have got, which you should yeah. tell everyone about. But it says, pay me like a white man. And I was like, yes, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, my gosh. Well, or be an entrepreneur and set your own price point. Yeah, that's it. And that's why I'm an entrepreneur, because that is actually the option that I have that I can kind of live with, you know? Um, so Lauren is 
you, you're a multi entrepreneur. What do you what do you call that, Lauren? Uh, somebody who there's a name for it, right? The official term is a multi potentialized, which I only also learned recently. I think just multi passionate serial entrepreneur, dreamer, <laughs> starter, any of the above. <laughs> Uh, well, first of all, congratulations on your birthday. Congratulations on the launch of your new line. They've got really cool stuff. Go and check out um, Future Females on Instagram. And I love the post that you did as well with the blurred content, you know? Um, oh, good. So clever. So, so clever. I was like, oh, I've got to tell Lauren something's wrong with her post. And then I read it. <laughs> I realized yeah, it was not perfect. We've been content. building. So we've been clever. building hype. Um, we will only be officially pre-launching this week. So now is the perfect time. We have been working on this merchandise for quite some time. Um, we've got matching track suits, which is obviously a need for all work from home entrepreneurs. We've got t-shirts, caps, mugs, water bottles. This is just the start. So we're starting with our staples, but ultimately we're working on a strategy that also brings the community in. So their designs and share, show showing and showcasing those back out to the community as well. So yes, follow us and jump on board if you have a soft spot for a work from home match. <laughs> very, very, <laughs> very cool. Um, okay, so we've spoken a little bit about future females, but let's tell everyone a little bit about you. How did you come to creating future females? Gosh, um, it's a good time for this chat coming up to our birthday. I think yeah. as people, as well as founders, you always reflect. And um, uh, it's also my co-founder's birthday. So we've been having a lot of discussions about what would have happened if we didn't start. And really our origination story is, it's quite simple. You know, we had a, a personal challenge and that was we had both moved into this entrepreneurial space in, in different ways. I have worked in entrepreneurship for many years, started several businesses, but I had moved countries. I'd moved to South Africa where I knew no one. And I definitely didn't know a single female entrepreneur building a tech-based business. And Serena was Namibian originally and come out of a very different background, out of food manufacturing. Again, wanting to go into from lean manufacturing into lean startup and we both coincidentally ended up working for Techstars, a tech accelerator in Cape Town at the same time for three months. And it was there that we met and I guess didn't have a lot to do with each other. But what we both noticed was a lack of female representation out of 80 people in this program, not a single female founder. And we also couldn't find a, a community that felt like us. So of course there are amazing other communities out there fighting the same fight as us but they feel different and they should because they're created by different people but they didn't represent us what we wanted was the action takers the believers the dreamers the fighters the hustlers and we didn't want to sit and discuss the challenges but rather create a platform where women can change the challenges into positives and, and lift each other up so we hosted an event um, <laughs> I always tell this story, I don't know, Susanna, if I did tell you, but we were hosting an event and we had invited people, we had a venue, but we didn't have a speaker and we needed two. And I was literally phoning stores in Cape Town and they were answering and I was like, is your boss a woman? Could she speak on Friday? And they're like, no, no, it's a man, it's a man. And eventually we pulled it off and it's just grown fairly organically since then, just following the need. <laughs> How did we not know each other then, Lauren? I would have dived right in. <laughs> I know, my gosh. <laughs> you would. Wow, so, and that's four years ago. And I love that you said you wanted to change the challenges. And that's one of the things that I really admire. And for me is a very big difference in future females is that it's about action taking. For everybody that is online right now, and hi, I do see you on Instagram and Facebook. Um, one of the most important things, if you want anything to change in your life, is you have to take action. And so I'm so excited because Lauren is going to share three tips that you can take action with today if you are a budding entrepreneur, if you are wanting to start your own business, if you have started your own business but want to really get it to the next level 
these are three tips that can kind of launch you a little bit. And I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit more about taking action just after Lauren shared these three tips. Yay. Okay, so my tips really do come as an outcome of the reflection that I've been doing, thinking back the four years of future females. And um, the first one that I want to share is simple and it's just trust. And I look at, Probably in the early days, I'll share a story. Serena and I had quite a, cl a clear view of where we wanted to take future females. This is in like the first six months. We knew we wanted to expand globally. We wanted to empower ambassadors. So our ambassadors are women like Beatrice, I know is online, who represent our brand. They, they own the brand for their city and their job is to unite women and host these events where they can come together and start their businesses. And you know, we started and we started getting some momentum and then there's almost more pressure to in the very early days, there's no wrong decision because you're already at step zero. So you can't go backwards. But as soon as you start, the pressure on your next decision becomes so much greater. And so I don't know if anyone is willing to share this into the chat, but please do let us know if you have ever second guessed a decision or thought, okay, no, I definitely need like some more outside perspectives on this. Or perhaps, and this is what happened for us, we were like, great, let's sit down with all of our mentors about the direction we want to go through. And we had three amazing mentors and they each gave us different advice, somewhat conflicting advice. And we started taking some of it in some directions, but a few months later, we ended up back exactly where we'd started, back at what we thought we should have done. And so what I just want to say is that trust in yourself, even if you've never been an entrepreneur before, your idea has come from somewhere. And if like us, you're solving a problem that you faced, you're the equivalent of the only woman in an all tech accelerator building what you need, then you do actually know best right now what your audience needs. And a mentor comes with their expertise, their experiences, and you can take that with a pinch of salt, of course, but just, trust that you actually do know the right way to grow and that the support and the guidance that you need will come to you as you grow. I think that's been a really big lesson for me. I'll say one more thing. My natural personality type is called the debater. And so literally I can talk myself into and out of ideas in about a minute. And my worst is when I'm really tired and it, I'm on Uber Eats for five hours trying to decide what's for dinner. And I'm like, oh, no, this, no, this. My gosh, that second guessing is one of the things that slowed me down the most and learning to just trust that gut. That gut followed by a really strong plan, which we'll get to, has allowed us to grow as quickly as we have. It's so, so, so important. And I think that most people, guys, I see that people are, it did put like thumbs up going up when you were speaking there, Lawrence. I think that was their way of saying yes. But I know that I've definitely done it as well. I've totally second guessed myself. And especially when you're starting a business that you don't really know um, at first. And that's why I find community so important. That's why it's so great to have um, people that just go, no, believe in yourself, keep going and because sometimes it doesn't always come from inside you you know we want it to come from inside us but sometimes we do need that community support but i love that trust yourself great first tip this is wonderful words um britain is saying to you these are wonderful <laughs> wonderful words <laughs> what did Shall you I get number two? two okay so tip two is invest but I just, I do want to explain it because this can mean so many different things. There is a big difference between tactics and strategy. And tactics is like, what should you do today? Like I'm going to post on Instagram. I'm going to do a reel. I'm going to send an email. Tactics can absolutely help you grow your business. They can also take up 24 hours a day, every day, and not necessarily move the needle forwards because they don't build on each other. You can post on Instagram today and tomorrow you're just gonna have to post on Instagram again. Strategy is the roadmap and strategy is such an overused term. My co-founder Serena is like, do not say strategy to me today. If I hear strategy again, I'm going to lose my mind. And I'm like, 
road map. <laughs> but that's what a strategy is, put simply. And I think also it's such an overused word that we've almost lost the meaning. It simply means how do you go from where you are to where you want to be in terms of like the roadmap. So that roadmap doesn't look like post on Instagram once a day. It looks like, okay, I'm going to invest here. I'm going to invest in growing my followers on Instagram. Then I'm going to use those followers to turn them into email leads. Then I'm going to execute a relationship building nurture campaign. Then I'm going to try and sell to them. So that's obviously just one example. It's one of my strategies, <laughs> but that strategy gives you the plan that the tactics drop out of. And so when I say invest, I mean, invest in someone or even a content based program that teaches you the strategy because without that you can be treading water so if you're feeling stuck if you're feeling like there's no more time in the day and you've looked back three months and you don't know what progress you've made you need to find a strategy a business strategy coach or a business strategy program I teach tactical programs and strategy programs. So I'm not saying there's anything wrong with like learning how to grow on Instagram, learning how to do profitable Facebook ads, but you need to know which of those fits into your strategy. Like is now the right time to learn YouTube or is that actually not an issue for you for two more years? And right now you need to learn how to use Trello effectively for project management. So invest at the strategic level. That's also what you can't Google. Google does not give you the strategy. Google can give you hours, millions of hours worth of tactical content, but it doesn't give you the strategy. So the best way forward is to actually get a strategy coach or a strategy program that you can invest in. I think that's very important because has anybody besides me ever gotten Googleitis? Googleitis is like when you start, <laughs> right, Lauren? It's like when you start trying to find the answers to something and there's just like more and more and more information that you end up kind of getting lost down this tunnel of information and you don't know what is actually right and what is going to work for you and what is just going to take you a long way. And this is where I always say investing in a coach or a program, like you say, Lauren, will just, it sounds like it's more expensive, but it's going to save you hours of time. And actually your time is your most valuable asset. It's your most expensive asset that you have. So, so your life should be about buying back your time, you know, so that you have more time to be free. So that's why I'm always so pro getting coaches guys and doing these programs is so, so, so important. Um, could be listening all day. This is wonderful. Love this. Um, yes with um, like sweat coming off them. Wow. <laughs> that little emoji says it all. I think I Susanna, something that you just said is so important and yeah. it's you know, about buying back your time and really conserving that time. The thing is, and also this is sometimes where we get stuck, most, stra most tactics can work for our business. If you mastered YouTube, it could work for you. Just like if you mastered Pinterest or LinkedIn, but if you can, if you try and do just a little bit on all of them, it won't. And so again, future females, we're a big global community and we do have a Twitter, a LinkedIn, an Instagram, but we spend 90% of our money, our team's attention, our focus on Instagram. And at the moment we're growing like five to 7,000 followers a week without paying for it. But that took us two years to get to. And it, we wouldn't have been able to get there if we hadn't really focused in and learned just the strategy for Instagram. Only now are we going, okay, which next channel should we master? But that's doing enough of the business for us right now that we don't even need a second one. So I think often we think more is more, but it doesn't have to be when you have the right strategy in place. And I think that also speaks to, um, to being in business, to an aspect of, getting your business right that we've spoken about before Lauren, which is not trying to appeal to everyone, like picking a market and, mm -hmm. and making it that like when you're doing a target audience, guys, making it a small target audience and rather consistently working on them 
until you've got them and then picking the next territory because otherwise it's like it's too it's too vast and it becomes watered down it's like putting a drop of red ink in a huge bucket of water it just like disappears so um i love that those we can talk all day guys lauren and i can sit and chat all day so i'm gonna let you share, I'm gonna let you share tip number three okay Tip number three, I mean, these are really sequential. Tip number three is commit. So trust that idea and trust what you already know. Invest in learning the strategy to help you get there fast and then commit. And this also goes back to this idea of second guessing. Once you have committed to a strategy, see it the whole way through. Um, I'll give you a story. One of the programs that I run is called the Creator Mastermind. It is a four month intensive program that helps people, could be coaches, consultants, even employees, anyone who wants to turn their knowledge into a digital product. So create their own program or membership or mastermind. And so we go through this four month, like intensive process of designing it, building the marketing funnel, and then also launching. So we support each other to launch. We're actually launching this week and, and a couple last week in the program. But what I so often see is a commitment to the process right up until the pointy end. And then if any of you, whether you're in knowledge products or in physical products or whatever, you get halfway through a launch and maybe it's not going quite as well as you want it to. And so then you start being like, oh, okay, what else can I do? What about this thing? What about this other thing? Maybe I should quickly go do this. Maybe I can like hustle and start this. And I'm like, you're halfway through your strategy, like see it the whole way through and then do your analysis and then look back. The good news, if you haven't done a launch before is that we get like 70% of our sales on the day we close. So if you are mid launch right now and you're freaking out, just wait, that last day might see you through, but yeah, commit, commit to the thing that you're going to learn and test now and then reflect and then course correct. The thing is that so much of what we're doing in the early stages of business is learning and you can never underestimate the value of that learning as you go forwards. And so if you throw the plan out the window halfway through, you don't have those learnings and you're starting from scratch again the next time. So commit to what you've decided, follow it the whole way through and then you can course correct. I love that. Commit, reflect and course correct. I think that that's, um, <laughs> you, you said that it, just, it came out like this, Lauren, and it was, it's so good because if you guys can do that, it will put you in such good standing. Um, I've gotten a comment saying, I wish we had people like you guys in Brazil. Is Future Females in Brazil yet, Lauren? Is in Brazil, actually, yeah. we've also, I'm guessing that came through in English. Although, Susanna, you might be able to speak Portuguese, I'm not sure. Um, we are in Brazil. <laughs> well, perfect. Because we just also launched our first Portuguese program in Brazil. Ah, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, check, check us out. We're also launching a chapter in Brazil, but we do a lot of work with the UK Brazil tech hub there. So we deliver our Future Females Business School, which is a three month strategy level business program for women building digitally enabled businesses whether you're in the idea stage or you're just early stage you haven't quite reached that product market fit when things start getting easier then this is a program you can apply for um, the uk brazil tech hub will support you through it as well so yes you can see it on facebook very 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 cool so those with three steps there's thumbs up going up there and um so you can yes Lauren is telling the truth. Go and check it out. I'm getting comments. <laughs> really? So we've obviously got some Brazilian fans um, in the house tonight, which welcome, welcome, welcome. I love that this is a global community that tunes in here. It makes my heart pitter patter with joy. Um, but yes, Future Females is all over the world. So please do go and check them out. And I was also saying to you guys before Lauren shared her three tips, um, Oh dear, I think that we have frozen on Facebook. On Instagram, can you guys still hear me? Is everything coming through okay there? Yeah? Give me a yeah in the comments if you guys can hear me on Instagram. Females that I absolutely, absolutely love. Is that Future Females is action-based. They actually want to create change. And Lauren is back. 
so you guys will see here. I'm just going to zoom in again. Um, they all about taking action and actually t like making a real difference, which for me is so, so important. If you want something to change in your life, guys, you've got to take action. You've got to actually do something about it. Otherwise, it's never going to change. How is it supposed to change? And so I've been working with a community center called Pakama Community Center in Gugoleto for about nine and a half, almost 10 years now. And I love them. I just love the community. They really have hearts of gold and Lauren's come and met them all with me. So she'll be able to attest to that. And um, a couple of months ago, well, it's been for a few months now, there's been nightly calls of women who are affected by gender-based violence coming to the, do the community center doors, knocking, looking for refuge because they've got no safe place to go. So of course my heart broke because I've dealt with abuse before and I hate the idea of anybody not having somewhere to go. And, um, and I spoke to Lauren and I was like, I need to, I need, I think I need to build a safe house on the community center property. And she said, oh, that's so cool. She said, speak to Phil. She's the director of Future Females foundation so i said okay and phil and i had coffee and we were instantly sisters she is just the most divine human being and then um lauren phil serena who's the other co-founder of future females me and a lovely woman called shandy got together and planned an amazing event and because i've repeated it so many times with all of the other interviews i've done lauren i'm gonna let you tell them about the event tonight <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, I think I'm also now sitting in the dark. I think my power is messing up, but I'm glad that I'm back. Um, so I'm just so excited because on Friday is the official launch of, I'm going to say the inaugural because we will be doing this again, Empowered Summit. It is a full day of some of the most incredible speakers from all around the world, from our networks, just people who we never thought would consider speaking and also donating 100% of the profits from anything that they sell. Some of the best selling programs in the world on mindset, on healing, on marketing, on business transformation are all being sold at crazy cheap prices to raise funds for this community center. And like I said, 100% of the sales are going through to the build. So even if you have no intention of spending any money you're welcome to just come and listen to the talks i am so excited there's people like my mentor paul o'mahoney who is speaking i love every time he speaks we've got sag um, from johannesburg who's an incredible speaker on also how to take knowledge out of your head and turn it into a high ticket course um, we've got dr hanan speaking about how she healed herself and the amazing transformative journey she's been on of course, I'm going to be speaking as well, and I'm just so honored to be in the lineup. I'm going to be speaking about really how to launch a profitable digital business and the opportunities right now for doing that in a really affordable way and a really scalable way. So I'm going to be sharing like literally behind the scenes of what's worked for us at Future Females and of course also what hasn't and offering something called our Level Up Launch Library. This is a bundle of seven of our best selling programs essentially covering Instagram, Trello marketing, um, sorry Trello management, um, Instagram marketing, LinkedIn covering our launch blueprint, how to calculate and work towards profitability and leave your job. All of this in a single offering. So I'm really, really excited. You have to join us on Friday. This is so, 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 so exciting for me because I really believe, Lauren, that we've come together to create the first of its kind event in the world. I mean, both of us have been on summits, international summits online all over the world, but I've never heard of one where 100% of the profit is going to build a safe house and rebuild a community center this is just a massive massive thing and i just have to say thank you because i i cannot tell you how much and i might cry i cannot tell you how much it means to me that it is that your community has been so supportive and so beautiful and all of you just such open hearts it's been exceptional and i've been a lone wolf um, entrepreneur my whole life until I really met future females, you know, and 
I've really felt supported. Like, guys, don't you know that feeling when you just feel like you're on your own all the time? And then all of a sudden, there are hands that you can hold and you can reach out and get support. That's what Future Females is all about. And that's why I couldn't think of a better partner to be doing this summit with. So thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, thank you. Well, and you, I think, you know, the world brings people together at the right time. And this is just so perfectly aligned as well with what we stand for at Future Females, but also why we created the Future Females Foundation. You know, literally we launched it a year ago now, exactly. We launched it on our third birthday and the entire purpose as you would have heard in your interview with Phil, is really to support the financial independence of, of the survivors of gender-based violence. And so this safe house is the most beautiful and most tangible way that we can do it. So um, I know we've already had almost 2000 women, well, and men register to attend. So thank you as well for making this summit as incredible as it's going to be. Yay. And guys, you can just, just by investing your time and registering, you will empower yourself literally if you just show up and listen to the amazing speakers from around the world we've got elizabeth walker we've got um kate gray we've got yemi penn we've got um tembi tembi is also amazing lauren you found tembi and she is amazing tembi mbeka so wonderful we've got lauren dallas we've got diamond diva we've got who is an amazing woman as well that i met on clubhouse and I cannot believe she's coaching mindset and manifestation. And I cannot believe from when I met her, she told me her goals. And literally within like three months, she's already almost there. She is phenomenal. Um, so obviously Paul O'Mahony, Sag, these wonderful, wonderful individuals, Hannon, Dr. Hannon, oh my goodness. I resonated with that woman so profoundly. She comes from a scientific perspective of healing and I, have done it from a spiritual side, but we're totally getting together after this because there's so much to talk about. So the speakers are incredible and you just need to show up. So register. If you are on Instagram, jump into my bio, jump into Future Females Foundation bio, jump into Future Females bio. The link is there. You can register absolutely free. And then I do invite you to invest in yourself and know that by watching that day, and picking a program, which was actually invest. It was Lauren's second tip. Mm -hmm. Picking a program, picking a coach to work with is going to empower you in a way you can never actually imagine. And you'll be supporting the change of thousands of lives. And I mean that thousands of lives, because when a woman comes into that safe house, she is not just changing her life, she's changing her children's futures and their children's futures. And you can be a part of that. So I think that's amazing and exceptional and so worth a hell yeah from everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else that I've missed that you think people should know? I don't think so. I think, you know, the name of the summit says it all. It is a day fully committed to your empowerment in all aspects of your life. I know being me a business coach we have really have talked about to the entrepreneurs in the room about the journey of building your business but we also know it's not just a journey that is tactical it's not just on here it's not on your laptop it's in here and it's in here so this is designed to empower you across all aspects of your life and if you're feeling a little out of sorts or drained or just kind of wondering what is that next step or what does the next year hold my hope for you is that these sessions through the day on friday they're going to bring all of these pieces back into alignment for you because when you have that alignment that's when you're in flow and when beautiful things like Susanna and i coming together in this summit coming into fruition start to happen and start to feel more effortless as well so um, dedicate a day to your own empowerment, commit the time, <laughs> invest, and I'm just really excited to see you there. Me too. Yay, yay, yay. And guys, it is about investing a day. It's about actually taking that time out, which so many of us don't do. We think, oh no, no I'll get to it. I'll get to it. Literally just cut that time out of your diary and commit to it you will not regret it. Shans is online and she says, there's so much love with what you both um, 
with what you both do with everything. Ah, oh, thank you, my Shans. That's Shandy who's working with thank us. Thank you, Shandy. We can't wait to see you on Friday. No, <laughs> And guys, everybody that's registered, we are going to have welcome drinks on Thursday night. Make sure you are part of the Facebook group. So when you register for the event, it's going to invite you to be a part of the Facebook group. If you're watching this on YouTube or you're watching this on Facebook, don't worry. The link will be in the description so you guys can just click on the link and you can join. Um, if you are on Instagram, again, it's in my bio. We've got hearts going off. It is all about empowerment. It is about increasing love in this world. And it is about you stepping into your light and being the change you wish to see in this world. So I thank you each and every one of you for tuning in today. Wonderful initiative. So sad I can't be a part of it because it's during work hours. So the replays will be available. So if you've registered, you will be able to watch the replays. And Kalaneha, there's always a sneaky little bathroom break as well that you can go and do. <laughs> <laughs> um, but register because then you'll get the replays. There's going to be also, we're going to be announcing an amazing competition on Thursday night that you okay. guys can be a part of. Um, and yeah, there's just so many cool things. But get involved and be a part of the community because I think that's where all the change begins is just that first step and lauren again thank you my friend from the bottom of my heart for everything and for making the time to be here today i really do yeah. appreciate you uh, and you thank you so much thanks to everyone who tuned in as well and spending this time with us it's been incredible it's been so good i love you all madly lots of love guys bye for now bye